Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Monday, November 19th, 2018. I'm Fredicia Liburd. All media houses and members of the press corps are cordially invited to the monthly press conference hosted by Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley, tomorrow, Tuesday, November 20th, 2018. The event will commence at 9.30 a.m. at the Cabinet Room on the second floor of the Social Security Building at Pinnis Estate. At the press conference, Premier Brantley will provide an update on matters of national interest and members of the press will have the opportunity to ask questions. The press conference will also be broadcast live on Nevis Television and TV. Channel 99, NevisTVOnline.com, NTV Go App, NTV Facebook page and NTV YouTube page. The Nevis Tourism Authority, NTA, hosted its annual marketing retreat on Saturday, November 17th at Mount Nevis Hotel. Premier of Nevis and Minister of Tourism, the Honourable Mark Brantley, outlined the purpose of the retreat. But I think that the purpose of this retreat is really for us to share our ideas with you and for you to share yours with us and to help us, of course, to see where we're going wrong, what we can do better. Uh, to share the successes that we might have had and also to see how we can avoid the pitfalls and the failures that we might have had. Uh, tourism is, I continue to say, everybody's business. It sounds cliched, but it is. Because if it's not for tourism and the revenue that we earn from tourism, this island wouldn't run. And I believe that those of us who live here who have experienced the, the trauma that it caused when storms close the four seasons, we understand the truism of what I've just said, that tourism literally is everybody's business. And I would hope that we start to treat it as such and we engage as such and that we have a spirit of open conversation where we can inform each other and try to assist as much as possible. The retreat began with an opening ceremony and had remarks from Chairman of the NTA's Board of Directors, Tim Thuel, and Chief Executive Officer of the Nevis Tourism Authority, Greg Phillip. Immediately following the opening ceremony were presentations and conversations with stakeholders. A number of persons were in attendance, including members of the Nevis Tourism Authority and members as well as stakeholders in the tourism industry. 24 plumbers were awarded certificates of completion for the Caribbean Development Bank's training workshop for the installation and maintenance of water-efficient toilets and urinals in a closing ceremony at the Mount Nevis Hotel Conference Room on Friday, November 16th. Minister of Water Services in the Nevis Island Administration, the Honorable Spencer Brand, presented the participants with their certificates and expressed his satisfaction. He implored the participants to share the knowledge they gathered at the workshop with their peers. I am so happy to be here this afternoon to bring this uh, training session to a close. I, I am really happy because I was told that I should be here to say just a brief word just moments ago. And I, I believe that you would agree with me that the training session was beneficial to you as an individual. I think that the absorption, so to speak, of the knowledge that would have been imparted would go down to your own personal benefit in the first instance. And I want to say to you, as the peers would have indicated, please share the knowledge that you would have gathered at this training. Minister Brand stated that the four-day workshop will better equip the participants with the necessary skills to advance their trade and he expressed gratitude to them for having deemed the workshop important enough for them to attend. This training here for the past few days, I would hope that would now put you in a better position to get a bigger piece of that pie. Because, let's face it, I believe if development takes place in Nevis, the first beneficiary should be who? The Nevisians, locals. And I share that view. And I am so delighted that this training took place, that it would have equipped you with certain skills to become better marketable in the industry that you have sought to apply your trade. So I want to say kudos to you for, first of all, attending these few days of training. I want to say thank you to uh, Mr. Daniel, who would have 
impart his many years of knowledge to you, even though it was just for a few days. And I would hope that at the end of it, you would be able to offer a better quality of service. The facilitator of the workshop was Alphonsus Daniel of Daniel and Daniel Plumbing in Grenada. The participants learned the theory aspect of plumbing as well as the practical when they visited the St. Thomas's Primary and the Gingerland Secondary Schools to do training. The workshop was funded by the Caribbean Development Bank through the Technical and Vocational Education and Training TIVET project. Still to come, for those men who have been doing their part, I want to commend you and thank you. And to be certain, I want to encourage you to do more. The details after this break. Awesome news from Inland Revenue Department. Well, awesome news that the only news that I get from the department is that they got to spend money. What the news be? The Inland Revenue Department is waiving all interest on your outstanding property tax bills in excess of a hundred dollars. What? What are you saying? So weird. If my interest is a thousand dollars, how much have I to pay? All you're required to pay is the hundred dollars and the outstanding tax due. If for some reason you are unable to pay your property taxes for this month, mm -hmm. the department is also offering payment arrangement plans to make settlement easier. But remember, you have to come to the department between November 1st and December 31st to qualify. In the when you're doing big things, I like it. This is a great way to encourage payment and still allow the tax rate to save some dollars. So girl, look at it this way. You can use your extra $900 on the VAT reduction day in December. So be a responsible tax citizen and get your property taxes paid in full. Welcome back. International Men's Day is being celebrated today, Monday, November 19th, with the theme, Positive Male Role Models, Together We Can Make a Difference. Making an address to mark today's observance, Junior Minister of Gender Affairs, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams noted that International Men's Day presents another opportunity to celebrate the positive value which men bring to their families and their communities. The guiding hand of our male role models is indeed very critical towards molding the type of society we would wish for Nevis to become and in helping to keep our youth on the straight and narrow path. Our little girls need positive male role models in their lives as well, especially within the home, so they can know that they are loved and therefore looking for love elsewhere will not become an option. Our young boys need positive role models in the home and in the community generally so that they can have upstanding persons whom they can aspire to be like and who can instill in them a sense of right from wrong. Our society needs positive male role models in the church, in our schools, in the workplace and on the street corners so that all bases are covered and no one is left behind. For those men who have been doing their part, I want to commend you and thank you. And to be certain, I want to encourage you to do more. According to the Gender Affairs Minister, International Men's Day allows us to consider what it truly means to be a man. If our society is to be one where positive male role models abound, then we must inculcate in our boys from an early age the values of sensitivity, empathy, compassion, and respect. This will position them to become positive male role models in their own right. As we celebrate International Men's Day 2018, I want to challenge all of you to find your own unique and individual way to celebrate and uplift our men. Let us continue to encourage them and grant them the reassurance that we are all partners in the cause of making that positive difference in our society. Minister Brandy Williams added that International Men's Day, however, is not only a moment for us to celebrate, but also an opportunity to consolidate. 
It allows us to consolidate our gains made in addressing the many challenges confronting men in our society and to examine those areas where we still need to invest further. Areas such as men's health and well-being, male victims of violence, and those who resort to a life of violence, as well as the pressures and gender stereotypes which our boys face in and out of school. International Men's Day is celebrated annually on November 19th. Junior Minister of Health, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams, is inviting residents of Nevis to attend a series of town hall meetings, which will be hosted by the National Commission of, on Universal Health Care. The consultation is intended to educate persons and receive feedback on the Green Paper on Universal Health Care for the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. On the 20th of this month, it starts in Nevis. And so I'm appealing to the general public to attend the national consultation and make their contributions as to the final product of the national insurance scheme. On Tuesday, the consultation starts in Bath. And so I am appealing to the persons of Bath and its surroundings to come out and to to, to be a part of this open consultation. The Green Paper on Universal Health Care includes issues such as financing options and proposed benefit packages. The first town hall meeting will take place at the Bath Village Basketball Court tomorrow, Tuesday, November 20th. Other town hall meetings will take place at St. Paul's Anglican Church Hall on Thursday, November 22nd. Franklin Brown Community Center on November 26th Charles L. Walters Community Center at Hanley's Road on November 27th and Jessup's Community Center on December 4th. The meetings will run from 7 to 9 p.m. The Nevis Historical and Conservation Society in partnership with the University of the West Indies UE Open Campus will host a talk entitled Enslaved Africans and the British Military at the Brimstone Hill Fortress by Professor Gerald Schrudel, formerly of the University of Tennessee. The event will be held at the St. Paul's Anglican Church Hall on Tuesday, November 20th from 7 p.m. A discussion will follow the presentation. All are welcome. That's how we end this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Liebert. Thank you for viewing. <laughs>